It doesn't matter what I do, what I try, I cannot get my Sacred Harvester Dagger, Ceremonial Dagger. I recently did get this lovely Ring of Emptiness. Very, very necessary for this Locust Swarm Haunt build that I'm using for Jade Harvester's set. But I need that damn dagger. 471 Paragon. We're going to do a level 60. Torment 13 equivalent. Greater Rift here. And doesn't matter what I do. Doesn't matter what I try. I cannot get my Sacred Harvester. And, you know, we are pretty squishy. But I need that Sacred Harvester dagger to be less squishy. To deplete or to ease some of that squishiness. But as you can see, Torment 13, we are surviving. But it's so damn important to use your skills wisely. So I'm dropping to like a quarter health and then I get it back up either using a potion or my spirit walk to avoid damage. And then boom, we hit our uh, soul harvest and then we get some health back. So this is a bit of an example. It would be great if I get my Sacred Harvester now while I'm recording. That would be really nice. But I can do like Torment 14 pretty easily too. But I do die. If I'm on cooldown and I get caught when there isn't a big pack around. And I can't get those cooldowns. Because I can't quite cast my Soul Harvest then uh, I do die. But, like I can do Torment 14 easy. I could probably do Torment 16. I've got the damage. I've got the power. But, the survivability is definitely lacking. It's been a horrible season as far as lucky drops go for me. Absolutely horrible. I just got that Ring of Emptiness and I'm coming close to 500 Paragon, which is ridiculous. I should have, should have had it by now. And Sacred Harvester, like, when you don't want it, it just drops all the time. I've tried reforging, not reforging, sorry, upgrading rare daggers. But it just doesn't happen. So, raid difficulty 60, sorry, raid, I keep saying raid. I'm stuck in my World of Warcraft days. I spent so much time playing World of Warcraft. I still think I'm playing it sometimes. The Rift difficulty 60, as you can see, I should complete it without dying at all. And it'll provide a, a quick, nice example for everyone on my progress. Especially if there's some nice pylons around. It makes things a hell of a lot easier. Piranha's there with Paranito is nice. Groups up our enemies. And so far we're killing it, we're doing like pretty well, but I want that Sacred Harvester. I've got my offhand ready to go, which I think is Vile Swarm, is that what it's called? I've got that ready to go, but I'm not going to replace my Wormwood Staff here. Oh! Until I get my Sacred Harvester. But it just doesn't drop, it does not drop. Other than that, I'm really enjoying playing the Jade Harvester set. For the Witch Doctor class. Sorry if I call my Witch Doctor a Demon Hunter sometimes. I'm so used to playing my main. And I still might make a Demon Hunter. This season. If I have time. If I get everything done that I want to get done on my Witch Doctor. I'll probably play a Demon Hunter. And I have completed a Rift 70. Pretty easily. But like I said I die. So it's not, it's not a good... Difficulty to farm at. Torment 13 is probably my farming difficulty at the moment. Because I can, you know, waltz on through, kill everything no problem and survive with, well, relying on my skills. You definitely have to concentrate. Definitely. Because if you don't use the right skills at the right time, you can die. And you can see the way that my health depletes very very quickly <laughs> so coming towards big dense packs definitely helps so you can get that big soul harvest out keep those stacks up and for those of you that aren't aware our soul harvest that you can see at the bottom our skill number two so 
when we use it, it activates every rune because of our Jade Harvester set, our set bonuses. And what the Sacred Harvester Dagger, or Ceremonial Dagger, Knife, whatever you want to call it, what that will do is increase those stacks to 10, which will multiply and double the effect of all the runes that we already gain the effects from, which include armor, survivability, healing, all that lovely stuff. Oh, lots of action here. Packs like that, we've got to be careful and double packs. Oh, I see a pile on there. I see with my little eyes something beginning with... Hey! So, full concentration. I'm avoiding the pollen right now. Because I don't really need it at the moment. I just want to pop this Rift Guardian. It's alright, we won't get the pollen. It's, it's pretty easy, so the Rift Guardian's about to pop. Come on, pop already, will ya? And the thing is, with this set, with the Jade Harvester set, the Rift Garden is just easy mode. I'll show y'all in a moment. Haunt just does so much damage. And if you've got your Spirit Walk, you can basically avoid any damage the Rift Guardian will try to inflict upon you. Come on, damn it! Pop already. There we go. So, we've got our Spirit Walk. I always activate it when the Rift Guardian, and there you go. We weren't in line of sight there, unfortunately. So you couldn't see. It's just basically, if you spam Haunt, it just, the damage just keeps multiplying and just downs the Rift Guardian so damn easy. No Sacred Harvester, once again. No deaths, so we get that extra gem roll. And... Later on, I'll probably swap out Gorgok of Swiftness for Swiftness. Gorgok of Swiftness for Bane of the Stricken. I'll experiment. And then once I finalize this build, I'll do an in-depth build video. But right now, I need that Sacred Harvester. It's the main item that I need right now. God damn it. It hasn't dropped for me. It hasn't dropped for me now either. I'm going to be working around the clock the next few days. I know that I'll get it. Uh, tomorrow being Friday, as soon as I finish work, I'm going to invest a lot of time in coffee drinking and playing Diablo 3, and I'm going to get that damn Sacred Harvester. Hopefully by the time everyone's watching this, I've already got some game time in, and it's already dropped, and I'm working on my build video right now. We're very, very close. Can Ice Cube's going pretty well. I've got pretty much everything that I need right now in Can Ice Cube. I've got my Quatsi Quotul Helm. So that increases the damage of Locust Swarm and also Haunt, I think. And then I'll probably debate between using Wormwood or the Furnace in the weapon slot for Canice Cube. So lots of juicy content for the Witch Doctor class coming right at ya. I'm working really hard around the clock right now. It's not going to be long. It's coming. Once I get that Sacred Harvester dagger, it's a different ball game. I promise you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It is optional. You don't have to. But at least give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching this ugly mug. And give me a comment down below. I will reply and show you some of that creepy love. Thank you all. Please come back and visit your creepy uncle anytime.